CNN thousands of country music fans became sitting ducks in the deadliest mass shooting in modern U.S. history when a gunman fired hundreds of bullets into the Las Vegas strip crowd. More than 50 people were killed Sunday night during an outdoor performance by country singer Jason Aldean, police said. About 400 others were rushed to hospitals after the mass shooting and ensuing stampede, police said. The gunman, 64 year old Stephen Paddock, unleashed a hailstorm of bullets from the 32nd floor of the nearby Mandalay Bay Hotel, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Sheriff Joseph Lombardo said. The massacre started around 10.08 p.m. Sunday, 1.08 a.m. ET Monday, at the Route 91 Harvest Festival, Lombardo said. My sister, being as noble as she is, threw herself on top of me and said, I love you, Taylor. The 21-year-old said. Police said they believe Paddock acted alone. Right now, we believe it's a sole actor, a lone wolf type actor, the sheriff said. So far, the massacre has no known link to overseas terrorism or terror groups, a U.S. official with knowledge of the case said. And a woman described as a person of interest after the attack is not believed to be involved in the shooting, police said in a statement. Mary Lou Danley is no longer being sought out as a person of interest, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department said. LVMPD detectives have made contact with her and do not believe she is involved with the shooting on the strip. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone involved tonight. It hurts my heart that this would happen to anyone who was just coming out to enjoy what should have been a fun night. Hashtag heartbroken hash stop the it. He wrote. Two Las Vegas police officers are being treated at a local hospital for injuries they sustained during the shooting, Lombardo said. One is in critical condition, and the other sustained minor injuries. In addition, the sheriff stated that there were off duty officers attending the concert who may have died. The identities of those officers have not been released. Pray for Las Vegas, the city's mayor, Caroline Goodman, tweeted. Thank you to all our first responders out there now. Nevada Governor Brian Sandoval said on Twitter that a tragic and heinous act of violence has shaken the hashtag Nevada family and offered prayers to all those affected by this act of cowardice. Rachel Decker filmed her escape from the venue using her cell phone, starting just after the first shots were fired. She described ongoing gunfire and played out the video she had recorded during which more than five minutes of gunfire were intermittently audible. De Kerf's sister, Monique Dumas, said that everyone instantly crouched when they heard the shots. The band was rushed off the stage, the floodlights came on the crowd, and you see on the right hand of the stage the person who was injured, so they're calling for medics, calling for security, then there was gunfire again. Dumas said. Sirius XM country radio host Storm Warren was on the side of the stage as Aldine was performing when the shots rang out. I thought it was fireworks going off and maybe it mistriggered, and then it happened again. And when it happened the third time, we knew something was wrong, Warren said. The shells were hitting the deck of the stage when I was on it, he said, adding that he could still hear the shells as he went under the stage for protection. It seemed there was a pause in the gunfire and the people in the yellow shirts were telling the people to go, 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 the gunfire never ended, it seemed like it went on and on and on, Dumas said. A concert goer told CNN affiliate class that everybody was lying on top of each other trying to get out of the shooter's way. Everybody's hiding everywhere, they're hiding under the bleachers and the stanchions, anywhere they could and everyone is telling us to run. Run as fast as you can, she told class. And my husband and I ran out toward our car, and there were people hiding underneath my car for cover and there was a gentleman who was shot and he said, can you help me? And so I put him in my car and I had like six people in my car, people without shoes, running, just to get away. Audio of the shooting suggested that the shooter had used a military-style weapon. CNN law enforcement analyst James Gogliano said. Automatic weapons like that, had to be numbers of magazines or a very large drum, it sounded to me like a belt-fed weapon, a military-style weapon and then to be shooting down, to use the analogy, it was like shooting fish in a barrel in that space, Gogliano said.
law enforcement and emergency personnel responded quickly to the incident to secure the scene, it said in a statement. Law enforcement requested that we put hotels in the vicinity on lockdown to ensure guest safety. We will provide more information as it becomes available. CNN's Philip Victor, Amanda Watts, Shimon Prakapex and Anne-Claire Stapleton contributed to this report.